Welcome, mate. This is kind of where I grew up near. I didn't start shooting here, but it's where I used to practice in my early 20s just to come for a nice day out. This is Lane Shooting School. I know, but when you rang me up and said you wanted me to come and have a look at Charlie's pit, I didn't think you meant Charlie's Sorry, were you expecting something else? Yeah, I thought our friendship had finally blossomed, that's all, mate, but never mind. Well, never mind, we're here, we're here, we're going to have a go. If you're into it, you can help me, help me with this. Yeah. Is this the gun? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Give, pull it, pull it. Oh, oh. There it is. Oh. 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 There we oh. go. What is this, Johnny? That's what you're going to win today's competition with, Ant. The barrels are the wrong way round. And it it's seems too, way too small. very small. <laughs> well, we're going to give it a go anyway. 410 competition today. But first, let's go smash up some clays. Did he pat, pat, pull? Oh, that's the one. Oh. I don't want to do it, Johnny. What's up, man? You're not feeling it today? No. I'm on the end of a two-day hangover, mate. But well, this is a reversal of roles, isn't it? I know, but perhaps maybe I could just cheat and then beat you. Would that be okay? Would that be acceptable? Is this how we do it now? <laughs> a bit of a low blow, wasn't it? Sorry, mate. I'm just grumpy. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I didn't it's mean right, it. Mate. It's alright. So I've been thinking long and hard and I think that I'm going to relinquish my last victory. I watched that back and I thought, actually, you know what? Not for the two seconds thing. Mate, you completed it. <laughs> Are you having another pair? What, is that it? Am I done? You're done. Are you classing the pair that I missed because you caught me out? There is no delay! <laughs> oh. yeah. Alright, watch this, alright? Say pull. Pull! Bang, bang. That's a delay! No, it isn't! I'm over that. <laughs> it's for the fact that we went to the hardest stand that I'd already beat you on. It was a, it was a mistake. It was a mistake to go to that stand. It was too much of a rig. I'm going to call it a firm draw. All right. So we're at one and a half all. Okay. But then you have brought a 410 side by side for a competition today. Well, that's a done for you. But you know I hate side by sides. Why would you do that? Yeah, but you're a 410 size dude. Yeah. So it should be, you should be all over it. <laughs> well, so you're going for the short gun is going to be a disadvantage for you. Yeah. The barrels being side by side is a disadvantage for me. Kind of makes it even. Yeah, and we can suck equally. All right. Let's go and suck it in. Let's then. have a go. Well, well with that, mate. It still works, unsurprisingly. Um, do you want to shoot a pair of these going away? I'll have a go. Then, up mate. A bit. See if I can sort of loosen up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. You didn't have your. You didn't have your banana. Is there not like a thing where you can just put your hand over the gun to like admit surrender? You have to like throw a white handkerchief out the end of the ball or something and wave it in the sky. Yeah, Correct that's fine. That. I'll do that, mate. <laughs> oh! You are slow today. Hey, you, you're on like half speed. I know, mate, I know. And I'm hoping that if I have my Lucas Aid spot and a banana, that, that might just push me on. Sure. Give me a couple of stands, I'll get there. Well, we might have to skip off to the petrol station and find yourself a nano. <laughs> what about the one that you carry around in the door pocket of the truck all the time? Well, that's just a... This one used to be right down in a hole with two big crosses over top of the trees. Yeah. No longer in the holes. Mate, like, it's unfair. If they get above a certain height, I genuinely can't raise my gun. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, mate. Missed That's all right. the line that, on that. That gives me a little bit of leeway. That gives me a little bit of leeway. Let's read the line on that. All right, let's have that second one again. Oh. Yeah. And again. Yeah, see? Yeah, Miss Reddit's behind. I get the feeling like this is going to set off my shagger's hip. <laughs> like, when did you get that, mate? Oh, back in, back in the day. It's kind of an ironic name, <laughs> isn't it? But very early, early thousands. Very early thousands. <laughs> well, it's just something I've got to learn to live with now. Oh! oh. <laughs> 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 
Did you hear that second one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not used to this lead thing, are you? Can I have some cartridges, please? <laughs> uh, I mean, what are you going to do with them? Waste them? Or? Yeah, I'm just going to waste so them. Just throw them in the bin now. Yeah, go yeah. on. You're going to really enjoy today, aren't you? Oh, mate, it is the best thing since. Oh, it's not. Now, I've missed you so much. <laughs> I've watched that getting mildly angry. I'm like, no, this is time will come, this time will come. Well. Beautiful. <sighs> Miss those first two. Can I have purpose, a sit down you? now, please? <laughs> you want to shoot him again? No, I want to sit down. <laughs> Go on. I'll shoot him again if you want. Johnny. What's a professional, mate? What is it? I met one once, read about it in a book. All right. Well, they said they were. Chaps is that saying. those people that go on the internet? On yeah, Facebook? They know a lot about stuff. That's a professional. Yeah, I thought it. it was. I thought it was. Professional commenter. Probably <laughs> <laughs> the one that said you were a sore loser. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so that's what you used to shoot from. Yeah, go down into the hole. Down in there. I noticed I quite liked it. I got that kind of um, trench vibe every time you were walking down in. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Into your dugout. But, yeah. So I feel strange not shooting from one of Times have changed, mate. Times have changed. Change is not a bad thing. No, no, no. Change is good. Can I just say, talking of changes, coming away from that TGS gun for a little bit and then coming back to it, it looks exceptional, mate. Yeah, I forgot. It looks quite bonny, doesn't it? That how, is a really how pretty... ugly my Maruku is, is yeah. probably the, the real issue here. That's really pretty. Should we press the buttons and see what happens? There you go. Oh, nice. Front edge. Oh, back edge. Front edge, back edge. Right, I've shown you where they are. I've shown you how to do it. Get out of them. <laughs> One, two, three. He's right up your barrels, John. They like a bit of rib, do they? They love a bit of rib. Have you done a nice rib? For her pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you don't have beads on your rib, because it's an unpleasurable thing. Ah, that's right, now I get it. Yeah, but how you need to run. Some people like beads. Anyway, back to reality. <laughs> I noticed something that we should have done, and that's why research is important. All viewers who care about what score you put in. Go on. I went and watched Devil Barrel Clay Shooting, that is Don Brunt's clay company yeah what lots of watched he does a shot cam thing for all of his targets yeah after afterwards a yeah 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 went and watched them all and i watched back three or four competitions worth the amount of targets he has dipping down is vastly exceeding any other clay shoot course setter i've ever seen right and if we'd have known that going into that competition we would have shot a better score seeing as what 50 of the targets you had to shoot well underneath yeah yeah yeah, yeah. let him drop into the shot yeah Fascinating. You actually watch the majority of the targets he's put on in the last three courses, you're having to shoot well underneath. They're dipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, I thought that was interesting. I thought that was interesting to go back and see the footage, though, to see where you'd gone wrong. It is a clever thing to do. It's not the... bad. Yeah, yeah. People I mean, should do. You needed to see where you went wrong a lot. Uh, not as much as you at the start, mate, I don't think. <laughs> And especially, I know where I went wrong on that stand of the it's two teal. Joke, it's a joke, it's a joke, don't get me <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, it's but okay. I'm a sore loser. Remember what they say, I'm a sore loser. You're a sore loser in a D-bag. <laughs> What's a D-bag? We're here on the driven stuff, John, and I reckon I've got an unfair advantage in the fact that you're a lot closer to you, the You just target. can't see over the front yeah, I can't the stand. See, and literally, that is taller than what I am. So how am I meant to shoot it? So I've got the John Carter 3000. Oh, is this like a product? Yeah, yeah. it's okay. like the this sticky is the tape. This shoot aid. Yeah, it's yeah. like he's sticky tape around his pistol grip, yeah. right? It's a bucket under my feet to allow me to be closer. Do you think that's an unfair advantage? If you took that around a clay shoot, do you think that's an unfair advantage? I haven't seen any rules that say you can't take a bucket with you. Woo! That's the hardest thing, is not being able to close the gun inside the stand feels wrong. It does, yeah, very so wrong. It's, you're being safe, really. I was trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there it is. Front edge it. Yeah, just literally it is right on the front edge, isn't it? Must be a MIDI. Yeah. Must be a MIDI. Look, I can actually hold my gun out safely now. Help me safety. Whoa! <laughs> Shot on the left hand side of that. Right. I know. This honestly. is wonderful to watch. Oh! No. Stop the barrels because we're game shooters. Yeah. And then a quick. Erect movement. It through the line. Yeah. I like it. And then kill it somewhere in the sky. 
Oh, Which nine? Oh, I'm guilty if it was a pheasant, wouldn't you? Uh, Not that guilty. Let's go. Come on. This is a bit like, what's that film you love? The one shot film? Birdman. No, the other one. No, the one in the trenches. 19. 19, this is 1917. All right, Sam, this is your chance to give Menzies a run for his money. All right, we've got a mission to get to the high town. Go. <laughs> oh, I'd join you, mate, but the shagger zip's not going to let me do it. <laughs> oh, nice partridge there, isn't it? Like a partridge breaking That is a out. proper beautiful partridge. That is a classic 10 o'clock John, isn't it? <laughs> Right, this is bread and butter, Pope. Oh, oh. No, you're talking about silly stuff. You always do that sort of thing. You it's an opportunity. You try shooting it differently, even though you shot it really well the first time, for no reason whatsoever. I don't know why I'm shooting it again, to be honest. Because it's there. So. Oh, that's why. Oh, hang on. There he is. Oh, on the way up. I like well, it. Your peg next to me. <laughs> that is classic. Two yeah. o'clock, John. <laughs> Let's go to someone else. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Well, I mean, you call me one in eight ant because you say you hit one in eight. Quite things. rightly, I hit one in eight things. Because we call you ten and two o'clock, John, because when you're on peg, the only acceptable shots to take are two o'clock and ten o'clock. Anything above your head, you're either not interested in or you miss. But if it's going low and out to somebody else, you're quite happy to murder it. 50 yards out is as good as 50 yards up. Good point. And someone else's bird is better than your own bird. <laughs> as long as the wife's not asking. Then somebody else's bird is not as good as your own bird. Oh. Let's have a sniff down your ear hole. Oh. Yeah, it always makes me hit them. Oh. Yeah, I want nowhere near in front of it. Oh. It, it seems to me that old man's beard is the mark. Once it's past there, it needs about three foot, and in front of it, it needs about five foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just puts the brakes on, doesn't it? Runs out of steam. Then one more, then. Pull. Straight up the trap. Now I'm going to take it out again. There. That's a bit of you, isn't it? I like that. Up the backside. Yeah. Did he pat, pat, pull? Well, and so on. Nice ear protection you got there, Ant. What's that? That's my CFGs, mate. Oh, they look like the best ear protection in the world. Well, that's because they are. That's good. I've got a code for 15% off them. We've got three, four, five, targets. six. Two of them are skeet. One targets. and two are skeet, so that's easy to remember. And then the rest are other birds. Yeah. So what do you want? Do you want to just have a bit of random fun? All right, I know. Work on the footwork game. Hang on, hang on. I'll get that <laughs> I think it would be fair to say that we really do just use play shooting as training for game shooting. I was thinking the other day that I don't really care about being the best. No, so, you know, even when, I don't want to sound like I'm saying, oh, people know who we are now, but <laughs> I'm a kind of a big deal. No. Glenn. <laughs> That's not what I'm getting at, yeah? Gamekeeper of the Year on TGS's Gamekeeper of the Year channel. <laughs> but I'm not, because your wife picked Matt Silk. Charlie, I'll never forgive you. It's not me, I'm not a clay shooter. It's not, I never have been. You've not got the discipline. I've not got the discipline, mate. That's my problem. <laughs> you know, and I like to be able to address any sort of bird at any time and have a reasonable chance of killing it. And so if I can do that, that I'm we need to take up fit ask. I think we do. I feel like it's much more up our street. I think we need somebody to place. sponsor us to take on FITASK. And then, then we can be very, very, very good. So in aid of our complete and utter bollocks we were talking before, we're going to shoot one through eight in a fitask sort of style 
in a non-competitive manner because the competition is later. Of course, John. Non-competitive manner. Of course, John. Oh, that was a bad start. Good start. Oh, sorry. I thought it was just coming. <laughs> no, I do. Unlike you, John, I do it when people ask for it. Oh. Number four. That is close for a choke gun. A bit of grease. <laughs> Definitely a bit of grease. Number five. Put your glasses on, boy. Number six. And seven and eight are off the scissor. Are we going to have that as the magic pair? Uh, can do, mate, if you want to, yeah. We do need that little... It just needs half a second between the buttons, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Because right. it actually sent the... I pressed them together and it sent the second one before the first one. Oh, let's have them again. Right. Nice. Very nice. Your turn. Yeah, let's have a go, mate. Don't okay. miss a silly first one. Shoot, what is your shooting style? Are you a pull away man or a swing through man? So I'm a swing through man. I always start behind every target I shoot. So I've got them started now. Put the ear <laughs> protection back in and get on and shoot these clays. Come on, no one cares. They do, they do. They wanna, they wanna know how I miss so, so I gracefully. <laughs> I miss very gracefully. You've got to admit. Missing is extreme. Like, it's an interesting thing I've been working on recently is actually to shoot in style is way more important than hitting anything. To look at someone and go, oh, it's wonderful to watch him shoot. Who cares what he's hitting? Yeah, that's what I like to work on, mate. It looks good when I miss. Fine. All right, you've already won it now. Don't say that. Oh. He's a low bird man. Low bird specialist. <laughs> So mate, if they're 10 yards, they're mine. The magic pair? The magical pair. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hey Ed! Sorry. Didn't even break concentration. You have to press them together like they wouldn't. <laughs> like once one's gone, it then takes a second delay. You really have to just da -da. thumb the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That's all right. We got them. Uh, do them together then. Oh, you know, am I not having that? You're not letting me have you that. You can't have it, mate. I'm happy that you straightened it. I know you're the best shot in the world. <laughs> That's it. Kill that one out early. Kill it out early, lad. Get it out there when it's over the beaches. Happy days, mate. That was Beautiful. good fun. That was good fun. I like this little setup. All right, is it 4 10 time? It's got to be somewhere near 4 10 o'clock, isn't it? Can you do 4 o'clock? All uh, right. Hmm. Yeah. Somewhere between two and ten. That is between two and ten, four ten. Four out of the back's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's acceptable. It's, it's the it's the sort of twelve to one issue that I have. <laughs> Middle stand. Middle stand seems fair. Break ten clays. Break ten? Or try and br try and break ten. Break ten clays. You've got a box. See how many it takes you. Right. So oh, we're not doing fair. the 10 clays, who got the best out of 10? We're going to do... Break 10 clays with 10 cartridges or more. The more you miss, the more you lose. <laughs> to a maximum of? 25, because we've only got 25 each. Righto. Okay. <laughs> so the gun is a Spanish, very high quality, side lever, which is stylish, hammer action, junk that looks like it would be more suited to my size than yours john well i wanted to give you an advantage after i did you dirty last week well we've we've worked this out but we've got past it we've moved on a bit, a bit of counseling <laughs> yeah i'm not a sore loser anymore i've been to counseling i've worked on it i've got past it you had some cream i've just realized that i'm a better person you're going to hell i'll be divine Job's all right. Mate, I always thought the cheek bones would be any angelic bit about you, but clearly your personality's catching up. <laughs> so you're chucking me in first, yeah? Well, you don't have to, you just got the gun. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, he's in for one. The quality is exceptional, mate. You know me, right? I'd only bring you the best. <laughs> so is it best out of 25? Well, no, 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 just... Uh, first maybe? to get 10. Just first to get 10. Yeah. 
Maybe we'll go five. Yeah. See how long that takes. All right. And then if I shoot five and you're winning, we'll shoot another five. <laughs> oh, that's how it works, is it? You're a shark, mate. Look at your shark. <laughs> I don't like side by side. I don't like side by side, but... I shoot better with it than I do with my double A double A. <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> but we've got three in the bag. Oh, shot. <sighs> Four. We're having a little bit of difficulty, mate. Uh, cock your hammers back a bit. Nope. There we go. Yeah, yeah. She's just... She's just crap. Oh, I thought it might be that. Yeah. <laughs> it's for four, mate. Six for four. Oh, it's better than I thought. I'm now intimidated. <laughs> I'm Good. intimidated. Good. Right, I'm just going to get one more, I'll yeah? Take a 10 ball out next time and you'll be bollocks. You won't be able to lift it. <laughs> there it is. Five for eight, mate. That is impressive shooting with a little 11 gram seven. I always pity kids who start on a 410. Yeah, I do. I always think it's like, like the biggest handicap you can give to a, a nipper shooting. But they're cheaper than 28 balls, which is why. This is true. This is true. Well, I dip into your box. Are you going to use my box? Well, you're not going to use it. Let's just have a confirmation of this, Sam, before we give him any cartridges. Eight missing. Eight missing. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not going to be accused <laughs> of anything ever again. <laughs> Johnny, I wish you the best. All right then, big boy. Good start. Good start. God's sake. <laughs> this is your challenge. You brought the gun. You made it up. I was expecting that you'd been sat down at the shop practicing all week. No, no, I grabbed this yesterday and I thought, you know what, that'll make Ant happy. <laughs> I got his size for once. Oh, thanks, mate. Yay! What? Oh, I've lost. He's lost. I've lost. Come on, mate. mate. Well shot. Keep going on the box, mate. Shot. Thank you very much, this my friend. This is not Lane shooting score. Easy. Two and So I know I lost, but I feel like I won. Because actually, we started hating this. I really have learned to love it. It's actually a real little treat, isn't it? Let me have another go, mate. Oh. See what I can make of it. See if I love her the same as you do when we're done. Oh. Exquisite, mate. It is just a thing of beauty, isn't it? It's Little. actually thoroughly enjoyable. <laughs> it doesn't normally do that. It's, it's seeking the bin. <laughs> it's going home. It's actively hunting the bin. Bang. Oh, no. I tell you what, and it can smoke them as well, it really can. It can. That little 11 grams of seven, we're all get, you know, all these people go, I need 28 grams, 21 grams, don't cut it. What's that out the side there? 35 yards, probably? 30 yards? It's gotta be getting that way. And yeah. It's doing the job. It's dusting them, isn't it? <laughs> and again. Oh dear. We've got a malfunction, Johnny. What is the correct procedure? No, hold on to it. There's a little recoil comes through that little beast. <laughs> I've got a hold direction. of her. I've put her into a safe direction. Into the soft chalk. Soft blade. chalk. If she goes off, it's absolutely fine. We give her a couple of seconds, make sure nothing happens. We'll then safely unload and dispose of the cartridge. Putting it away from me. Exactly. She's not even got a dent on her. So we know it's probably a firing pin issue. Yeah, one See, of the primers that... is nearly knocked out, look. Yeah, when you look at how far those cartridges drop into that gun when you put them in, like yeah, it's yeah. almost comedy value how far the cartridges drop in. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> it's always good to be on guard though, John. Safety is no joke, as we found out in episode one. Ant has killed the beautiful gun. <laughs> you broke it. That's it, firing pins, dead. That's it. It is now a single barrel. <laughs> so the joke we made about it actively hunting the bin, Johnny. The firing pin has shot its way pin. into the bin. The firing pin shot into the bin and gone. So, as much as we have fell in love with her. Oh no, it's falling out the back. It's gone out the back. Yeah, it's fallen out the back when you're taking one of those driven birds. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and actively look for it for too long. Probably just kind of dirty floor colour, like the floor. All right, we'll shoot your last cartridge. Thanks for breaking my prized gun. You found it. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. 
Look at that. That is engineering at its finest. Sort of thing you'd find in a Holland or a Longthorn. Or... <laughs> it is. I must admit, mate. Like, maybe I've been a little bit premature as per usual. <laughs> but I dissed this thing when you got it out of the truck. So did I. But I'll tell you what, mate. Although the firing pins fell out, and it won't work very well. At the best of times. What a little bit of fun, though, to come and shoot some, what, 30-yard driven stuff? Yeah. And we're killing them regular now, we found them. I mean, me a little bit more regular than you at the start. To start with, and then that reversed after it. the competition ended. See? <laughs> it's all about the pressure. It's all about the pressure, mate. But what a bit of fun. And it kind of makes me want to go take it out and try and shoot some partridge with it or something now. The problem is, as we've discussed many times, we're not in the echelons that shoot 30 days a season. We're not on the echelons that shoot a dozen days a season. No. So for the times that we are out, would you risk one of your days? No. On Mrs. No firing pins here. That's fell out. Old no pin. Old no pin. No pin Sally. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't even be the quality. Like, I just, I know that my 12 bore, Maruku, when a bird comes over, if it's hit, it's going to die. And I've got a fairly good chance of hitting it. Yeah. I don't like wounding. No. I like... Well, this is what we're talking about on the way here, wasn't it? The fact that some people are good enough to shoot these at game. Yeah. And uh, when you say good enough, not in skill, but in knowledge to know when that's too far. Yeah. When it, within its killable distance. Yeah. It's humanely killable distance, should I say. But I'm not in that group of people because... You're just I like, like blazing away. Well, I like stretching my barrels, mate. I like to take those further shots, and I've got the confidence in my 12 bore with a decent choke and a big load behind it that it can pull off those kills and kill them well. And if I'm stood on a peg and a 60 yarder comes over me and I've got this in my hand, you're probably going to go for my it. My mind's going to tell me to have a go for it. So, on that note, I better not take it out and we go to go put it back in the bin where it's been looking for all day. Let's go for it. Well done, there, mate. No, no, good game. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <It's done. laughs> are you going to be a sore loser, Johnny, like I am? Hmm? Are you going to be a sore loser like I am? Are you okay? No, mate. I'm genuinely okay. That shows you, you know, the, the kind of person you are, mate. I was you, not you, far you're... behind. No. And just... It was a tough gig to begin with. Yeah, and you're just of stronger character, mate. Well done. No, you no, won no, the because I was game. already 2-1 up and I gave my win away, so I'm on this high already. I've, like, <laughs> I've about done my charity deed for the day. <laughs> Give them back to the poor shooter. So what is the final? What is the score now? We've got 2-1 to you. And what about the Willoughby Hedge? 2 and a half, one and a half. And we could count Willoughby Hedge for me. Depends how badly are you, like we get towards the end of the series. Yeah. I've, said, I've had it a long so I'm happy to lose to you. It could be 2-all, mate. 2-all. 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 So... On behalf of the Substandard and Average Clay Pigeon Shooters Association, I'd like to present this to you, the CCI Midi Clay of the Year Award to you for this winning the 410 Side-by-Side -side Shoot Some for How Many Cartridges Challenge at Lane Shooting School. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate it. That's going to go in a pride of place. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Lane's is a lovely little training ground filled with nostalgia. And today we made another set of memories, getting beaten by Ant and Ant beating the 410. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at Austin.